You may have noticed that conservative investors are getting more active in taking on wokeism at corporations across America. Sean Salai from The Washington Times is here with us today to discuss. Sean, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So, Sean, what is this shareholder activism you kind of hint at in your article that you just wrote? Well, there's a number of conservative organizations that have become alarmed at the policies in corporations like Disney and Walmart, which are holding equity, diversity, and inclusion trainings for employees, uh, talking about kind of woke policies and Disney's opposition to Florida's parental rights and education bill. So the National Center for Public Policy Research, a conservative think tank in Washington, has a free enterprise project that actually purchases shares in corporations like Walt Disney. And they have conservative proxies who introduce proposals against woke ideology, which they've done at more than 100 shareholder meetings over the past four years. They've also released a guide kind of telling conservative investors how to oppose woke policies at board meetings. And they kind of list different people like Al Gore, uh, who's a board, mem board member at Apple, and saying vote against these people, vote against all the board members of certain companies like Microsoft, Walmart, Apple, Disney, Twitter, Nike, Amazon. And then there's other groups like the American Legislative Exchange Council, which is a network of conservative private investors and state legislators. And they recently introduced model legislation that would stop state pension fund managers from introducing quote unquote woke criteria into the investment selection process. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of um, conservatives are kind of belatedly waking up to this reality that corporate culture is no longer on their side. Sure. Yeah. That's something else I was going to ask about. It seems like this is a totally different playbook for conservative activists. Seems like something that the left would do. Have, have ch things changed that much there? Yes, uh, things have changed quite a bit, and uh, the report that the Free Enterprise Project put out uh, kind of mentioned that, well, the, the quote that it had was, for decades the left was synonymous with counterculture, today the left is the culture. And then it goes on to say, so if we are to learn anything from leftists to their credit, it's that counterculture done right can be an effective strategy. And essentially, you see kind of a shifting here where conservatives are recognizing that they maybe occupy more of a minority position uh, in, in the corridors of power in some of these boardrooms. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is, is this any way related to ESG or I think it's environmental social guidance or governance? I know that that changes a lot there, but ESG, does that come into play here? Well, I haven't heard that specifically, but certainly there's a, an array of policies that a lot of these companies embrace and uh, endorse, and certainly companies like Coca-Cola have been very supportive of China. Um, other companies uh, have environmental policies. A lot of the more recent activism has been over parental rights issues, so kind of uh, the issue with the quote-unquote don't say gay bill in Florida. Uh, which doesn't mention the word gay, but a lot of progressive critics have said that, uh, you know, companies like Disney need to take a greater stance against this. Mm -hmm. And so as the companies become activist companies, conservatives are sort of trying to say, let's keep politics out of the board. Sure. And I know that there's kind of a fight going on in, down in Florida with Governor DeSantis versus Disney. Can you talk a little bit about that? Is that really kind of where we're seeing this play out in real time? Well, in real time, that does seem to be the major uh, major clash at the moment. Last month, the Free Enterprise Project introduced a uh, petition at the Disney board meeting to basically audit its anti-racism training for employees. And Disney basically told its shareholders to vote against it, and it was voted down because it, quote unquote, mischaracterizes the company's commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion. And at the same time, the current focus has been on Disney CEO Bob Chapek, who's been taking all these positions and stances against the Florida governor, Ron DeSantis. In return, the Florida governor has been talking about taking away Disney's special congressional district, taking away a lot of the financial benefits and exceptions that the state of Florida has given to Disney throughout the years, making Disney essentially its own kind of civil jurisdiction Sure. Uh, having its own police force, its own 
uh, basically separately incorporated town. And so there's there's this real power struggle going on there. Mm -hmm. And the new law in Florida forbids K to three teachers from giving lessons on uh, gender ideology and sexual identity mm -hmm. uh, for the youngest students in Florida's schools. And so, but there's other things. There's climate change science. There's COVID-19 vaccine policies. There's election in, election integrity laws, as we've seen um, in Atlanta. Sure, yeah. So but... Companies that are taking stances on a whole range of issues. Mm -hmm. um, so do you think... Did, did yeah. This overall, just to close this out here, do you think that this is showing how the GOP is kind of moving away from, you know, big bi being the party of big business in a way, kind of moving from, you know, what they were known for the, for the past you know, couple decades? Yeah, I don't know. It, it's hard to tell how far this uh, trend towards quote unquote wokeness will go. Disney sees these topics as trendy and high profile. And a lot of these companies are afraid that if they don't join the bandwagon on a range of progressive policies, their companies will be singled out as being irresponsible or insensitive. And so a lot of corporate leaders are kind of taking the stance of trying to placate the zeitgeist or placate uh, the conventional wisdom or the popular political positions. Yeah, but the stance maybe popular on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, but the stance of conservatives is that this sort of virtue signaling is not going to solve anything, that advocates of progressive policies uh, will simply move on to the next target. Sure. And trying to appease anti-corporate activists uh, is always a risky move. So it's really a struggle for the soul of corporate America right now. And it's hard to say whether conservatives will be permanently an anti-corporate party or it's just going to be uh, kind of seeing who comes out on top. Politics so, of the day, kind of. Yeah. Well, uh, Sean, thanks so much for coming on, and we'll have to have you on again soon. Thanks. It's great to be with you. Really appreciate it.